What's up everyone, welcome to the channel. Uh, time for another new mod today for the uh, Charger Hellcat. Um, I kind of alluded to this in uh, the video I did recently where I went over the mods that have been done to the car so far. So now what are they? They are LED side marker replacement lights. Um, these are the smoked out version. Um, hopefully it'll come up on the camera all right. Uh, you can see you know, the whole uh, fixture itself is is smoked, you know, blacked out, uh, and then the lens itself is open. Um, so when I I'll show you the lights that are on the car now uh, and kind of talk about this, but uh, the thing that I like about this is this is an actual LED strip that goes all the way down the entire light fixture, whereas the factory lights, and I'll show you to you on the car in a second. There's only one LED, so like literally the top part of the light lights up and everything else is is dark, which kind of looks like crap. So that's why I want to do this. Um, this has been a, a mod that I've wanted to do almost since day one. Um, and I, if anybody that's watching the video is a member of the Hellcat.org forums, um, you'll know that uh, there was a, uh, a company named Oracle. Um, they came out with uh, LED side marker replacement lights. Uh, they did a group buy on the forums and a bunch of people bought, uh, installed them, and um, some failed almost immediately. Others made it a couple weeks. Others made it a couple of months. Uh, but, you know, people were having issues where the uh, individual LEDs within the strip would go out, like, you know, two or three jump, you know, around the light. Um, most of them from when I was reading the comments on the forums, most of them uh, were happening on the front. Not, uh, not, not that many people I think had problem with the lights that went on the back. Um, I don't know if that's indicative of the amount of heat that's generated inside uh, the front wheel well from the motor and creating any kind of issues uh, for the lights. I have no idea. I'm not an engineer. Just merely pointing out my observations from the perspective of having read uh, a lot of the posts on the forums. Um, so, uh, you know, the, the, that was the Oracle company. Um, Diode Dynamics, uh, which is like, I personally think is kind of the leader in the LED lighting space. Um, you know, in the video I did the other day, I showed you the red LED lights that are on the interior of the car. Those were from Diode Dynamics. Um, they have, you know, these LED side marker lights. Uh, they have them for Camaras, they have them for Mustangs, and they have them for Cadillacs. Uh, for whatever reason, so far, they have uh, not shown any love to the uh, Mopar community. Um, so, unfortunately, lights from Diode Dynamics were not an option. Um, I found another, one of the other uh, Mopar community YouTube uh, channels that I, I found. Um, uh, he uh, came across these on, on Amazon. Um, I don't want to butcher his channel name, so I will just uh, put it up in the video now. Uh, so if you want, you can check out his channel if you, if you don't already uh, watch his videos. But uh, he uh, linked to these in his video, and I went and checked them out. So these are by a company. I don't know if it's on the packaging anywhere. No, not on the packaging. I believe the name of the company is called Max Beam, um, like a beam of light. Uh, I, these things were $99 for all four of them. Um, the Oracle lights, when they first came out, they were like almost $400. Uh, if you look at the diode dynamic lights for the, the Camaros and the, four, and the Mustangs and Cadillacs, they're about $170. Um, so these are by far the cheapest. Um, I have no idea what the quality is, but I figured, you know what, for $100, bucks, i will put them on. If they last, they last. If they don't, they don't. Uh, you know, hopefully Diode Dynamics will, will get around to showing the Mopar community some love as it relates to the side markers. Um, so, you know, if that happens and these fail, then, you know, hopefully I'll be able to go to Diode Dynamics. Who knows? Uh, but, yeah, I'll put a link to the actual products uh, in the description of the video. Um, I will put a link to, to that other YouTube channel as well. Um, but anyway, I'm going to go ahead and put these on the car. Uh, before I do, I'm going to show you what the car looks like right now, um, just so that there's a before and after, uh, you know, so you can see exactly, uh, you know, how they look. 
Okay, so before turning the lights off and showing you what these what the actual lights look like, I'm going to go ahead and show you what they look like while they're off. Um, so you can see that's you know one of the front markers, <clears throat> and that's uh, one of the back markers. You could actually see that light was on for a second. Um, as I mentioned in that other video, uh, right now they are blacked out because. Um, you know, I'm using the, uh, the tent kit, the pre-cut tent kit from Lux Auto Concepts, um, to do that. Uh, you know, you don't see the amber of the lens on the front. You don't see the red of the lens in the back. Um, you know, I love the look of the tent. Um, you know, there's absolutely nothing wrong with the tent kit itself. Uh, you know, the daytime look is, is awesome. Um, the unfortunate thing is, is with the tent kit itself, it, you know, they can't, change the functionality of the light um you know the way dodge uh, created these lights uh with a single led uh, in them i have no idea why but uh, let me go ahead and turn the lights off in the garage so you can see what this looks like close this door so that there's not that much light coming in okay so the headlights of the car come on because of the door being open but you can see out of that entire light fixture only the top lights up so that's the front and there is the back. Sorry about how dark the video is. But you get the general idea. Basically, the top of the light is visible, um, you know, from the LED perspective. But the rest of the light uh, is just black. And as far as I'm concerned, I think that looks like crap. Um, so that's why I'm going to go ahead and do the change. Uh, so at this point, I'm going to go ahead and get the car jacked up. Start taking the wheels off. Um, you know, I've seen other people do this install just by turning the front wheels because um, you do have to get in there and, and pop out the, uh, the fender well uh, piece in there. Um, I'd much rather just take the wheels off and make it a lot easier to work in there. So I'm going to go ahead and get that started. Okay, got the front driver's side wheel off. Now I'm going to take a look to see what needs to be undone to pull that uh, fender liner back to be able to get behind the uh, side marker fixture um, and looking at it it looks like everything in here that needs to come undone are push pins um, let me make this a little bit wider so you can see more of the thing at the same time so you see a push pin there two push pins down there not sure about the ones all the way in the back but there's one there there's one up inside of here and then the one there okay took the uh, six push pins out and uh, pulled back on the liner um, you see this tab right here this tab is actually uh, behind it actually sits behind the uh, lip of the fender here so you need to make sure that you're pulling out a little bit when you pull that out um, started to pull out up here but you can see it's if you to see it in the dark I kind of got that jacked up right there I'm gonna have to work on getting that back in but pulling these out gave me enough room to be able to bend the liner out let me see if I can figure out how to get a light in here so you can see this all right now nope, still can't see um, I'll show you when I get the light fixture out but uh, there's just two uh, torque screws, I think they're torque screws, right here on the back of the light fixture. Um, I'm using a T25 uh, bit to get them out. Um, I'll show them to you when the light comes completely out. But uh, as long as you have a very small ratchet, uh, like this is what I'm using right here, um, as you, if you have something small like this, uh, when you pull this back, there is enough room in there. I can't see it because it's too dark, but there is enough room in there to get your hand all the way in there to be able to hit the back of those screws uh, with the uh, with the T25 bit. I'm gonna go ahead and finish taking the light completely off the car at this point. Okay, got the uh, the screws completely out. Uh, here they are. Here, here's one of them. Uh, like I said, you can see it's probably too close. The Torx head. Uh, they're pretty short. Um, so it doesn't take all that long to loosen them, but it is kind of a pain in the ass being inside the uh, the fender while doing it. So you can see there's uh, plenty of 
cord to uh, actually pull the light out. Um, so you know, once you get the light out, you know, it's just a standard kind of clip thing to release the plug. And I'll go ahead and finish um, putting this back together. Uh, you can see, you know, there's the holes there that uh, the light, you know, the, the plastic from the light fixture goes into those holes and then the screws come in from the back. I did put the light on uh, that's going to go there as a test and I can tell you that this thing looks 1,000 times percent better. So let me plug in the factory one real quick and sorry about the weird camera angles while I'm doing this. Um, so that is uh, the factory look. Like I said, it's just the one light at the top. So now let me plug in the new light. Um, so before plugging the light in, of course, this is kind of what it looks like without the light, but this is what is really awesome about this. Oh, oh, it's falling. All right, so. So look at that, it is the entire light fixture. I don't know, um, it, the glow of the light probably won't let the camera focus that well, but the individual LEDs are tiny little LEDs in there. Um, and it's so cool in person because you can literally see like each and every little LED light. It looks like a string of pearls in there. Um, so, I mean, this is just, this is just awesome. I am so psyched about uh, what this car is going to look like after these are on all the way around. So I'm going to go ahead and get this one um, connected in properly and uh, turn the lights off so I don't kill my battery after the fiasco from the other day. Another quick observation. Um, when putting the new light on, I had a very hard time getting this clip to uh, come forward and engage the little tab on the light fixture. Um, not sure why that is. I don't know if that's actually by design so no water can get inside the socket and I have no idea. But uh, just wanted to tell everyone if you decide to put these lights on your car, um, be extremely careful uh, doing this. Um, what I ended up doing was taking a small screwdriver and uh, putting it right along the back there. Uh, pull the screwdriver across so I could have force on both sides of the back of the tab to pull it forward and it eventually did engage. Um, you can see it's not coming off. Uh, I did test the light to make sure I didn't damage the light in the process. Uh, but you know if you do this uh, be extremely careful because the last thing you want to do is, is break that clip. What's up everyone? Um, before finishing the, uh, the passenger side uh, side marker replacement. I wanted to do a quick uh, you know comparison. So this is the passenger side still the factory side marker. Um, it does have the Lux Auto Concept tint on it so that's why it's a little dimmer than probably what it would be straight factory without the tint. Uh, so now let's walk around. Apologize for how dark it is but I wanted to give you a true effect. Um, so this is you know the, the side that I finished, it is, like I said previously, this is like a thousand times better looking than uh, the factory side marker. I mean, this is just awesome looking. The nice little thin strip, I mean, you can't see it in the camera because the camera is picking up the entire glow, so it's making it look like a much uh, larger amount of light than there actually is. Um, I'm going to try zooming in a little bit, but I still don't think the light... The camera's going to focus any better on, oh, there it goes. So now you can see just how much, you know, light there is coming out of it. If I go in a little closer, sorry about the camera wobble, but um, you can see, like I said, as I zoom in close, you can see that the light is more like a little strip of light than, than the whole fixture being lit up. Um, again, in person, it looks much better than what it's going to look like on this camera. So at this point, I'm going to finish the rest of the lights, and then I'll do a full walk around of all the lights after they're done. Finally got the lights finished. All the lights are done. I'm going to do a quick walk around just so you can see them in the light without the lights actually being turned on. Um, you can see they generally look just like the factory uh, the factory side marker lights did um, 
with the Lux Auto Concept tints on it. Um, so I like that look. It's you know blacked out during the day for the most part. I mean, you can see the the lens in there a little bit, but I mean, you know, it's not that big of a deal to me. And it's not the red and amber color, so it's you know doesn't stick out, especially against the Go Mango body color. So now I'm going to turn the lights in the garage off and go ahead and turn the lights on the car and then do another walk around. So there's that light. That's the driver's side. There's the back driver's side. Now the other side of the car is going to be, you know, darker in the garage, so I'm not sure how these will look. Hopefully the camera will pick them up. So that's the passenger side rear. And then here's the passenger side front. I'm going to try zooming in a little bit on that front light again to see if... Hopefully you can see, you know, the strip of light in there versus, you know, when I'm zoomed all the way out, it just looks like a glow. In person, they look way better. Um, I think this thing, I think they make this car look a thousand percent better. Um, you know, the car's pretty badass as it is, but I think this definitely makes the look a lot more aggressive, especially at night. <clears throat> so a couple of observations from the install. Um, when I told you earlier, this light here, I had a hell of a time getting the clip on. Um, the other three, uh, I didn't actually have that problem. The other three, the clips went on uh, pretty well. Um, so, I don't know, maybe it was just something about that particular light, but just be prepared. You might have to fight with getting the, the wire clips onto the new lights. Um, you know, I jacked the car up, took every wheel off. Way easier to do the install with the wheels off. I mean, trying to, you know, get up in there and, um, you know, pull those... Uh, panels back with a wheel in there is a, a nightmare. Um, the back wheels, uh, the back lights seem to be a little bit easier uh, because more of that panel moved out of the way so um, they were a little bit easier to do. Uh, let's see, One of the other things I noticed is that before you put the new light on the car uh, you should take the screws uh, that come off of the factory lights screw them into the new light a little bit before they go on the car um, because it's a plastic housing and they're just coarse th uh, coarse threaded screws um, you know you have to pretty much thread the plastic as you're screwing this uh, you're putting the screw in so if you try to do that while you're holding the light up on the car it's a nightmare well at least for me it was a nightmare so i found uh by the last two lights it was much easier to start threading it you know, while the light was off and in your hand, uh, at least that way, you know, you get the first couple of threads started and then you can take it out, put the thing on the car. You can hand thread it uh, for the most part and then use your ratchet or open end wrench or whatever you're using. Actually, it has to be an, uh, a ratchet or some kind of screwdriver since it is a torque screw and not a nut or a bolt or anything like that. But I did find doing that made it a lot easier to put them on the car. Um, so... That's it. Uh, I can honestly say out of all the mods I've done so far, uh, aside from the tinting of the windows and the, uh, the new cat heads, I definitely think that this is probably right up there as one of my favorite uh, mods. Um, like I said, you know, these things were only $99, so we'll, we'll see how long they last. Hopefully it's more than a couple of weeks, but I will do a follow-up video um, Probably in a couple of months, uh, if everything's going good, you know, if one of these things starts to fail sooner than then, uh, I'll do an update video uh, regarding that. So anybody that has a charger or a challenger, uh, I highly recommend uh, these, these marker lights. 